Hello. Oh, Ooh, camera's on this one. It's one of those tables where you can't cross your legs. It's off. I can. I'm tired. It's like a little. Oh, <laughs> sweetie. Oh, you have, no, you have a thing. Oh, I do have a thing. Oh, you have a yeah. Move your chair. No, I like to suffer. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is this your first time ever in New York Comic Con? Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's really fun, isn't it? Yeah. 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 We're all Comic Con virgins. <laughs> How's it feel, guys? We <laughs> <laughs> yes, we were excited to be here. Yes, we're very excited. Can you tell us a little about each of your characters? Sure. Uh, I play Ophelia Mayer. I am kind of a, I'm a depressed, anxious um, anarchist who <laughs> just wants to, to find something important and to belong somewhere, but also hates the concept of belonging to someone so it's this kind of like struggle there but I uh, I find a, a cause and that cause is and Hello. watch the hand off there it goes <laughs> my name I play Jules Thomas um, and yeah and so you first meet my character in the show and she's kind of lying to everyone around her and kind of struggling to find a place that she belongs just in a different way to Ophelia I think we're both kind of lost in a way um, and yeah she's She's a, a lovely girl that has a terrible thing happen to her um, and I think is let down by people around her and, and is forced to deal with something alone that makes her channel into moonlighting as a vigilante, avenging sexual assault victims. Um, she's a fighter for justice, she's a survivor, she's pretty kick-ass, she's pretty awesome and yeah, and our relationship in the show, I think our, our friendship kind of drives the show really. <laughs> You, you can just say we are the show. I mean, like, <laughs> and, um, in yeah. so many words. Wow. Now, did you have to dye your hair for the part? Did your hair already into crazy colors? My, I am blonde, actually, which is a very... She's like my color. I am, like, really light blonde, which freaks people out with my brows. Um, most people think I, like I dye the way you my said eyebrows, that. like, black. <laughs> no, that's weird. Um, yeah, so, but uh, I did have to dye it. Yeah, when, when she got yeah, the car, we I were did. like, yeah, and your hair is going to be green. Because <laughs> like, Ophelia okay. needs something. Ophelia needs that green hair. Yeah, and I said, as, as long as it wasn't pink, because I didn't feel pink. Yeah, she right said that all. was the one color. I said, that's she the want. only you color. You would not have Ophelia. Exactly, have and that's what I said. I was like, any yeah. other color, but it was pink just seems green. wrong for Ophelia. Yeah. So, yeah. And blue felt. Like almost not basic, but it felt like a, it was a little bit of that. Yeah, yeah, like a lot of people have blue, and it was like no one has. So we no one has green. You got, did you find this? It's like mermaid though, because there's yeah. a lot of blue in it. Yeah, depending on the it's light. It's not. Yeah, some lights yeah. you'll see just pure green. Some, a lot of people call it my blue hair. They'll say, "Oh, your blue hair." Yeah. Or color green. correction on the show is great. <laughs> <laughs> Looks different in every. Scene. Not but in life too. Yeah, in life. In life. I feel like the color like echoes. Have you ever seen Ghost World? Yeah. So like Enid, you know, with her when she dyes her hair is like an act of rebellion. Um, and she's doing this whole like seventies like post punk rock thing. Um, yeah. So it kind of gives that rebellious vibe. Yeah. Right away, which is nice. Cool. Oh, you it's, guys should definitely see you'll Ghost You'll eventually. Oh, yeah. It's so awesome. Yeah. yeah. You'll eventually see that it's also like definitely. A, re a rebellion against her mother specifically. So I feel like a lot of moms care way too much about the, their daughter's physical appearance, and so I feel like that's a big old fuck you, which is cool. It worked great in the pilot when you two were in the car and like the wicked song came on. Oh, yeah. I just went off. Oh, <laughs> we had a, just we had a little. That we, did, like, we decided. You decided separately. Yeah. And, and then yeah. And, and then there was like a moment, and it was like oh in, my the, God. in the table. Then once I got my hair dyed. Yeah. Once we actually got my hair dyed, and we're sitting around, and we start singing it, we go... Yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. What was your favorite film, I mean, what was the favorite scene that you filmed? In the pilot? In the first episode? Or that was in general? Or, or in... Mm, we might have a spoiler alert then, though. Okay. Oh, no, you know what? In the pilot. He's putting his body on here. Oh, yeah, there's a, there's a shot in the pilot where Taylor and I have to carry like a six foot two man's dead body and put it in the trunk of the car. And, and I she, we both lost it but she could not. Because it keep one it, together. it didn't fit and it was like a and we had Every to like snap his legs in half to try and like make really it fit. quick so like the camp like you see it and then the 
camera kind of like is blocked by her body and she like folds his legs <laughs> like, right like really easily. easily there was a and moment every time i throw it in his head hits like it hits like boing boing and then goes in it's you have just... so many takes where i just collapse over she the does car this and, and you just see her <laughs> vibrating over the car and it's bizarre no i'm gonna mess up everyone's shot yeah, so you know that. there was a moment where the butt like the body that they had wasn't fitting and they both kind of turned to me because i'm very small and i was sitting in the chair at the monitor <laughs> and, we're like, and i was just like you're not wrapping me in tarp and putting me in the car. Like a hundred percent the idea. And we Every like, time we like, did it, we hit the head, and she goes, "I'm not gonna like, be I'm the head then." Doing that. We were like, yeah. "Do you care about the show?" Yeah. And I said, "No." And I walked off. <laughs> and now I'm at Comic Con. That's I, the last time we saw her. Yeah. It's weird that you're it's here been, again. It's so Hello. weird. Yeah. Could have showed up. Jill's great. Really. <laughs> I believe every single word you said. <laughs> How much of your personal sounds go into creating your characters? Um. Mine's, mine's, uh, mine's more obvious, I'd say. Uh, uh, did, meh, meh, a lot. Yeah. Um, After I met them and they were cast, a lot, yeah. the characters changed. Like, the they, character they that did. was on the page in the original pilot that I wrote, it evolved and it changed. And as the season went on, I mean, there are things that Ophelia says that are just tailor-isms that I put into the show. Fudge nipples. Fudge nipples, I knew. I knew. Yeah. That was a great moment. Yeah. And I also feel like, I don't know, Taylor and my relationship outside of that, like, we're very bonded. And, um, it's absurd, actually. There's a lot of stuff, like, I, in that way, I feel like Ophelia and Jules work so well because Taylor and I have a very similar, like, dynamic than Jules yeah. and Ophelia do. You're a lot more wicked. You're so much more wicked. You're much more Ophelia's sense of humor than Yeah, I than think Jules I'm more. I'm more. I mean, more. I think my Englishness is yeah, like Jules. Like is is very sweet, and yeah. her comedy lies in kind of her uh, uncomfortableness sometimes with how like brash Ophelia yeah. is. The, the absurdity. Whereas I'm very comfortable the, with yes, her brash. Very her. overly <laughs> overt. Um, but yet, no, we actually found ourselves one day. One day, like a few months in, we we looked at each other. We go. Wait, have we spent even a weekend apart? So we would work, you know, five days a week. And then every day on the weekend we would see each other, yeah. The entire day. It would be like, can I come around and just pick up that thing I left at your house? And be like, yeah, cool. And then six hours later we'd have dinner, we'd swim in the, we swam <laughs> in the pool. And slept over, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was a lot. It's the best bit. <laughs> so um, what can you tease about how your characters will evolve, like, individually and their relationship together over the season? Yeah, I think, I mean, I... What Jen has done beautifully is the character's arc in this first season. I think I'm really excited for people to see. I think that people are going to love it. I, I feel like with Jules, you'll meet... Like, the show is violent, but it's not that we're saying, hey, if this happens to you, you should, you should go around and beat up rapists. Like, it's got a message that there's consequences to these girls' actions and also that Jules is maybe channeling her anger and not, and not actually helping herself with what she's gone through and I think Jules hits a point where she needs to address what's happened to her um, and not, um, what's the word, channel it into, yeah, hide behind, nice, she's the writer, <laughs> and not hide behind the mask, yeah, Boys. and so there's definitely an, like a, a point where Jules has to deal with that and it's sometimes not pretty and, um, but I, it's a, it's a beautiful, arc. it was a pleasure to read the episodes as we were going did you have to go through like training to like do the, like the karate music or do you have like a completely we different person? We yeah. had martial arts. I mean, we have an amazing set. Oh my god! Arts. Phenomenal. But we Taylor and I did a month of fight training together, um, three times a week. It was good. It was like martial arts and parkour, parkour. and free running, and it was a we had the best time. It was like it was just it was a set. We were like. Every time we were done, a group of like children came in for like the same class. We <laughs> doing the same. Immediately were humbled, but it was it's so much fun. It's it's yeah. We like learn to climb a wall. Like yeah, you mean like run up a wall, to yeah. climb a wall? Uh, yeah. It was good. A lot of fun. I can hear Nick Fink's voice. Yeah, so much. Fingleberries. Okay. Thank you guys. Thanks, Thanks guys. Thank you guys so much.